Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing well. We're back here with some more Bob Dylan. We're going to be checking out Hurricane. This one's been requested a lot. I uh, don't know the first thing about it. Didn't look into the lyrics, but I think this does have closed captions, so I'll be able to catch some of what is going on here. Bob Dylan, uh, he does not write so straightforward, and I like it. A lot of people say, well, his music's really up to uh, interpretation. I guess there was kind of an interview uh, where he was asked what a certain song meant, and he pretty much was saying, hey, stop anybody on the street and ask them because their guess is as good as mine. And I love, I love when an artist says that, um, because as fans, so much we want to believe that we we understand what the song is about, and maybe there's a true meaning behind it, but it doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't matter. I think what's more important is the way a person feels about that song and how it relates to them. I think that's the beauty about music, is we can usually take it and apply it to ourselves some way, and that gives us that emotional connection and bond with that song it becomes greater than its original intent in my opinion so let's go ahead and hop into hurricane see what it's talking about and see what it makes me feel here uh here today here we go pistol shots ring out in a bar room night to Betty Valentine from the upper hall. She sees a bartender in a pool of blood. Cries out, my God, they've killed them all. Here comes the story of the hurricane. The man the authorities came to play for something that he never done. Put in a prison cell, but one time he could have been the champion of Good quality music. Three bodies lying there, does Patty see? And another man named Bello moving around mysteriously. I didn't do what he says, and he throws up his hands. I was only robbing the register. I hope you understand. I saw him leave, and he says, and he stops. One of us had better call up the cops. is so good. Meanwhile, far away in another part of town, Ruben Carter and a couple of friends are driving around. Number one contender for the middleweight crown. Had no idea what kind of shit was about to go down. When a cop pulled him over to the side of the road. Just like the time before and the time before that. In Patterson, that's just the way things go. If you're black, you might as well not show up on the street unless you want to draw the heat. <laughs> Alfred Bello had a partner and he had a rap for the cops. Him and other Dexter Bradley were just out prowling around. He said, I saw two men running out who looked like middleweights. Jumped into a white car with out of state plates. And Miss Patty Valentine Okay, I'm not gonna take a guess. Really, what's happening here? Uh, I think I'm I'm really enamored by the music, man. Uh, this music is just unbelievable. It's so good. Is that a violin? Like just going insane in the back. It's beautiful sounding, but the music overall just it is great sounding. It is so good. Uh, but the lyrics, it sounds like you know there's robberies happening. Uh, people wound up dead. Maybe the robber only came to uh, steal cash from the register. He didn't do. This crime, he got arrested. Uh, he's talking about champion, the crown, heavyweight, middleweights. Um, you know that that's fighting terms to me. So I'm trying to understand. Obviously, somebody, a uh, black man, got pulled over. That's what it's like in this part of town at this day and age. You, if you're out, you're black. You catch the heat. He was saying. Um, then it sounds like I, I don't know if I misheard that, but maybe one of the survivors is alive and he can spot, he can talk and, and say what happened. So let's keep it going. If I totally miss it, I'll try to catch 
the understanding of this song by the end of the song. I'll, I'll try to uh, look into the lyrics, but let's go. I'm, I'm loving the sound of this. So it sounds like they're trying to frame somebody, uh, and they're trying to, yeah, let's keep it going. Arthur Dexter Bradley said, I'm really not sure. A cop said a poor boy like you can use a break. We got you for the motel job, and you're talking to your friend Bello. You don't want to have to go back to jail, be a nice fellow. Just one punch But he never did like to talk about it all that much It's my work, he'd say I do it for pay And when it's over Just as soon go on my way Up to some paradise Where the trout streams flow And the air is nice And ride a horse along the trail But then they took him to the jailhouse Where they tried to turn a man Chance. The judge made room with witnesses, drunkards from the slums. To the white folks who watched, he was a revolutionary bum. And to the black folks, he was just a crazy nigga. No one doubted that he pulled the trigger. Wow. And though they could not produce the gun, the DA said he was the one who did the deed. And the old Algeria agreed. Man, so I mean... It's pretty cut and dry what he's saying in this song. It To me, it sounds like, yeah, this guy had nothing to do with these deaths. They're going to pin it on him. Hey, he's black, man. And they're telling the witness, like, you're white, man. You you don't have much to lose. Or maybe that's the the actual robber. But either way, they're trying to convince him, hey, just pin it all on this guy. You know, we, we're not deciding ain't going to lose a thing throwing him in prison. It's a sad tale, man. It's a sad tale. And uh, if you were to tell me things like this ain't still happening... In our society today, you'd be lying. Reverend Carter was falsely tried. The crime was better one. Guess who testified? Bello and Bradley, and they both all they lied. The newspapers, they all went along for the ride. How can the life of such a man? In the palm of some fool's hand wow. To see him obviously framed Couldn't help but make me feel ashamed To live in a land where justice is again wow. Now all the criminals in the courts and the 
ties I'm free to drink martinis And watch the sunrise While well, Ruben sits like Buddha In a ten-foot cell And in a set man In a living hell Yes, that's the story of the hurricane But it won't be over Till they clear his name And give him back the time he's done Put in a prison cell But one time He could have been the champion of the world Once again, I might as well just get used to it because it's such a clash clash of personality with uh, a lot of music from this time is that you get these amazing quality music sounds coming from these bands. I mean, the music on that was just incredible, man. I almost just was like, please play an additional six minutes of music only because those sounds were phenomenal. But then you get that layer of that heavy subject matter on top of this beautiful artistic music. And it's just like, damn, you know, I don't want to have this much fun in this song because it's serious. But man, the music is just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Well done. Um, but the, the subject matter is very important. And I think for Bob Dylan to be writing about this music um, is very inspirational. And I'm sure it uh, inspired a lot of people to speak out about injustice um, as musicians and artists like this usually do. When they speak up, you can uh, make other people feel bold and say, hey, I, I have a platform to say something about this kind of stuff, too. And I think that's very important in life. Um, so while great song, he used, you know, full names. So I don't know, maybe this is a case that really happened. Maybe it was a fighter, a boxer uh, that got framed for for murders. And in, he ends up saying, you know, give, give the man back the time that's been done. And that's the bad thing is you can't give time back, right? We've seen the story of people who have been framed in the world and been locked up for decades and then they end up getting out and it's like hey here's a million dollars man sorry we took six decades of your life away enjoy this while you can it's it's so screwed up it's so screwed up you know you can't give back that time when you've ruined somebody's life for that long and it's terrible it's just terrible but great subject matter i think it's important to talk about um good job bob dylan man just another phenomenal song by you and whoever was playing in the back absolutely great song thank you for recommending that a few times here on this channel i really enjoyed that one very much uh thank you for that and if you guys like the reaction don't forget help me out leave a like uh subscribe and uh, check out the description for other ways you can help this channel but more importantly uh, please keep providing great suggestions like this one that meant a lot to me thank you i'll catch you on the next one peace